Okay, so I got the new V-Fly Finder 2. This is a, the second version of the super loud uh, drone finder, or lost drone finder buzzer. I think this one is just going to be a little bit smaller than the original. And here's a look at the buzzer. It does look like it's a little smaller. Not 100% sure on that. I'll have to uh, pull out the original from one of my drones and I'll do a review video and, and compare this one to the old one. I, I'm not 100% sure what's different, so stay tuned for that review. Okay, so I got some new motors in from uh, Spintech Motors. This is the new 1304, and this one here is the 5200 KV. So this motor here uh, it comes in three different KVs. Uh, I think 5200, 6500, and 8600, I believe. Check the link in the description for the website. Uh, obviously, this one here is going to be for 4S, and then the 6500 is for 3S, and the 8600 is for 2S. And this motor here is... Uh, I think is manufactured by T-Motor, so it's going to be pretty high quality. Unusual design here with the 9 and 12 millimeter holes for mounting. So let's see how secure that is. And it's got your T-Prop mount style on top here. Uh, 1304 size. Pretty good power from uh, testing that I've seen. And I'll have a, this on, put this on something pretty quick here, and I'll have a video for you so you can check out the performance of this motor pretty soon. Okay, I got a couple more frames here from iFlight RC. This one here is the uh, Dove 5 inch, and this, this is going to be one with individual arms. Uh, yeah, so this has a nice battery strap. Here's the, all of your carbon pieces. I think this is going to be an ultralight frame. Yeah, typical, probably separate arms, top plate, bottom plate, sandwich plate. Feels super light. Some 3D printed parts here, arm bumpers, pretty nice. You get a little bit of hardware, your standoffs, screws, and nuts. Got a lipo pad there, and a little TPU printed uh, part for your antennas. A couple of rubber tubes, you got some stickers, and here's the uh, explosion diagram. Yes, this one has six millimeter arms, very skinny. So this is going to be uh, an ultralight that's going to be pretty fast, but yeah, typical top plate, bottom plate, bottom mounted battery. Yeah, I think this is going to be a typical racing style frame. I think though that the arms are kind of different here. If I remember right from the picture, uh, the arms are closer together in the front and further apart in the back. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting different concept, so you might want to, if you're interested in something different, this might be a frame that you might want, you might want to check out later. And they also sent the GoPro mount for this. Uh, now this is the, the top plate for that frame, the Dove, and this will go right on top of the top plate if you want to do some uh, GoPro footage for your flight. Okay, got another frame here. This is the uh, Dragon Teeth version 3. This is a 5-inch uh, freestyle frame, and this is the GoPro mount that they sent along with it. Uh, it looks like uh, there's a strap in the bottom, strap on the top. Should be uh, interesting, but this uh, frame looks like... <laughs> Yeah, GoPro mount for every single frame now. Okay, get a uh, battery mat and a couple of battery straps here. These are different. Got this uh, fabric stitching in here. This metal buckle. They keep evolving their battery straps. Really interesting. But they seem to be getting better. This looks like uh, this is uh, obviously you can tell here uh, unibody, not uh, separated arms. Uh, this is for the front ca camera cage, and I think this is a little protection piece for the camera cage. Got some stickers. Uh, foam feet for the arms. And your bag of your standoff screws, nuts, etc. This is what the uh, obviously frame looks like. It's an H style frame. And here we got a bottom plate and top plate typical uh, freestyle frame setup. I got some arm bumpers, cool. And this is what the frame looks like. I did a review on the uh, Dragon Teeth uh, version 1 frame a while back, I think it came like about a year ago. Um, yeah, I don't think I, they ever sent me the version 2, so yeah, this is, looks quite a bit different from the version 1 from my recollection. Okay, got a bunch of parts here from GIF RC. And we have some more uh, 1206 motors. Uh, I still haven't tested the 1206 4500 KV motors yet. These are the 6000 KV motors, so I'm going to be just using this on a 3 inch 
set up on 3S. And we got some, a couple of micro frames here. This is the uh, Phoenix frame, but now they, this, uh, they have this in a 3 inch, and I believe this is a 2 inch. Yeah, so they have a 2 inch and a 3 inch, and you've already seen the 2.5 inch, that's the ready to fly. They also sell the frame also uh, by itself as well in the 2.5 inch. And here's just a quick look at what you get in the box. Uh, uh, TP printed parts here. You get some LEDs. This is the camera cage area. You get a battery strap, forever tubes, and caps. A couple more Velcro straps here. Get the frames at the bottom. Here are the carbon pieces, unit body uh, bottom uh, bottom frame, and got your top frame here, top top plate, and your side plates for the camera. And I think that this only uses the uh, uh, motors with the nine millimeter hole pattern, so keep that in mind. It's going to be for a lighter three inch setup. And just in case you're not sure what this looks like, here's the uh, assembly schematic. And this is the three inch version, but the two and a half and the two inch version they uh, look pretty similar to this. Okay, I got a little bigger. Uh, frame kit here. This is a 5 inch, I believe. Now the uh, GEP OX X5 Pika uh, 5 inch frame. I actually don't remember what this looks like. Okay, so this is what the frame looks like. Another typical, I think, 5 inch racing style frame. Got your front camera area, uh, individual arms, sandwich plate, top plate, and your four standoffs. And I think the arms are five millimeter thick. Yeah, they're five millimeter thick arms. And then you get your stickers, some battery straps, uh, some 3D printed parts. You got a, some foam here. Yeah. So got your carbon pieces here. And uh, some obviously some assembly required, but you know, get, get RC carbon very nice. And here are some more of your hardware. And at the bottom there you got your forever tube and some hex hex keys. So yeah, I'll do a uh, frame review pretty soon. If you have any questions, let me know later. Okay, you got a couple more things here sent in from Banggood. Uh, got, we got the Runcam Split Mini 2 camera, so. This has already been reviewed to death already, so I'm not going to unbox it here. It's just basically the run cam split mini, but a single board instead of two boards. And we have the Furious FPV with a smart power case. So you put a couple of 18650 lip or lithium ion batteries in here. And it has a, I think it has a power on off switch somewhere in here. But yeah, I'll, I'll do a review video on this one. If you have any questions on this, on how it works, let me know and I'll. Uh, Try and address that for the review later. Okay, got a couple more cameras in here from Cadex. This is the Turtle V2. This is the actual production version. And the one that I had before was a pre-production version. So here's just a quick look at it. I'm pretty sure it's the same. It doesn't look like they've changed anything. Yeah, so it's got the same wiring loom. Uh, looks like the, the microphone is still loose, so you can put that pretty much wherever you want. Mm, the board is looks like the same 20 by 20 m2 holes and the lens looks like it's also the same Anyway, I'm going to put this on something and um, When I have that video, I'll let you know if it's a, the production version of the turtle version 2 so you, you know, obviously have to uh, Watch the videos to see where this is going to end up going into. I'm not sure at this point Okay, so the camera they sent is the uh, turbo micro SDR 2 plus and now they have uh, two versions of the SDR2 Plus, the race version and the freestyle version. I think the first one they sent me was the freestyle version. This is uh, a new version that's supposed to have um, a different board and also much lower latency. Obviously that's why it's for racing. So yeah, externally it looks the same as before the SDR2 Plus race. Uh, it looks like it has the same voltage sensor, on-screen display. Same voltage range, same case, uh, the Turbo Eye lens, M12 lens here. Uh, so I think it's um, uh, just a different board with faster latency, so it's a very, supposedly like uh, 5 milliseconds or less is what they're telling me. So we'll uh, put this on something, get some video footage, and I'll let you know if the, I can tell if there's any difference between the other, I think the other latency was like maybe, 
uh, 12 or 13 milliseconds. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell the difference between 5 milliseconds and 12 milliseconds, but also, I guess I'll give it a try and I'll let you know. Okay, the new Mobula 7 from Happy Mile has come in. This is their 2S brushless whoop. And I think this has some 0802, 0803 motors on there. And this one has the uh, Free Sky version, comes in Fly Sky and Spectrum. And this one is a standard version, and they also have a basic version. So you get some instructions. Looks like it's a basic setup for your transmitter. You get a charger here it's for the. Uh, the 1S LiPo's looks like um, with the PH2 connector and the 1.25mm uh, connector. I've seen these charges before. Charges off of an XD60 or um, barrel plug. And we've got some spare props. This is the, you know, the, the drone is 75mm, so I think these are going to be 40mm props. Uh, looks like we got an extra battery holder thing here. That's a little adapter. And we get two extra batteries here. Obviously you need two for uh, flying this. And the other two are already in here with the little uh, LiPo holder thing here. It's all 3D printed parts. So 75 millimeters motor to motor, 40 millimeter propellers. Obviously it's 2S so you, you, know, you run off of these two leads here. Now supposedly you can run this off of 1S uh, with some sort of a little adapter thing. I'll look into that into the review. This one has the um, 16,000 kV 0802 motors, so on a 75 millimeter. So I heard this one flies pretty good compared to the Beta 75X, which has the 11, I think it was an 1103 or 1102 motors on 2S. And we've got the same nylon plastic frame. Let's see how durable that is. And then you have this nice canopy, a low profile with an adjustable camera mount here. And of course the board in here is a single board, not a um, dual board where you got a flight controller and ESCs. The ESCs are built into the board and it's 2S, so that's a new innovation. Now Happy Model did also send along a bunch of spare parts here. And I've, I'm pretty sure all of these are going to be sold separately as well. So you got some spare props. Um, you send along a couple of spare frames in case you break your frame. I'll have uh, uh, listings to all, all these parts in, in the section down below. Uh, this one here is, I think, a flight controller. So this is another. So if you if you damage your flight controller, they have spares available. So okay, this one's actually a spare motors. I see the motors have plugs. You got the extra screws here. And I think this is actually a flight controller. Yeah. So that's a 2S flight controller, single board. Uh, obviously the power plugs already soldered on. You get uh, looks like an extra uh, power plug there along with some grommets for mounting. So I think this is going to also be sold as a spare part as well. And I think this is the canopy. So if you break your canopy they sell these as a uh, spare part as well. So. If you're looking for spare parts for your Mobula 7, I'll have them all listed down below. And then we'll take a closer look at all the stuff in the review. Okay, so I got a big box here. This is a little microplane. Uh, obviously, I think it's already assembled, so the, the box is really big. But it's only 600 millimeters for the wingspan. Uh, from Volantex RC, Ranger 600 is ready to fly. Comes with a transmitter. And obviously, you can see what the plane looks like. So I'm not going to bother taking it out of the box. So I have a... Obviously one of my hat cam reviews on this one. I heard this one is really easy to fly, has a built-in stabilizer, and this one's pretty inexpensive. I think there's like $45 or $50, something like that. So anyway, check the link below. Yeah, it's got the gyro stabilizer, so it should uh, be good for beginners and uh, you know, prevent you from crashing and should be pretty stable in the air. Anyway, I'll have a review on this one coming up soon. Okay, I got another uh, selfie drone here from JJRC. This one's called the Fairy. This one doesn't come with a controller. It's just nice and flat here. It looks like it's just a drone only and no controller. Uh, so in the box you get the drone and you get a charger, it looks like. Looks like that's a special charger just for this battery. No other batteries. And here's a look at the drone itself. Very interesting looking propellers. They're 
a lot of blades. And a very flat. I think it's a, got a camera on here somewhere. Yeah, it's got a little. It's well, supposedly a 1080p camera, but it looks like a little pinhole camera. A little optical flow sensor on the bottom, power button here, and I think this here is going to be your battery. So it uh, looks like it's just uh, going to be operating off of your phone only. I, I think this also has hand gesture control as well. So check that out later in the review. Okay, I got in the uh, new Flex RC Ascent 5 inch frame here, and I can see it's in pieces, uh, individual arms as you can see, so I'm not going to take everything out, uh, but it's a pretty lightweight uh, 5 inch frame, I think it's about 85-90 grams, uh, obviously without electronics, so I'll have a frame review, probably a, uh, a build and flight demo uh, videos at some point in the near future, so you want to stay tuned for those. Okay, so these are the new Hobbymate uh, 2306 motors, uh, I, I previously reviewed the 2305 motors, these are a little bit bigger. Okay, so just a quick look at them. Pretty similar looking to the 2305, obviously. Uh, these are, again, made by RCN Power. I think these are very similar to one of their motors, if not based off of that. It looks really, really close to the, the uh, I forget what it's called exactly, but RCN Power is making a 2306 motor that looks a lot like this. And pretty nice windings, very nice air cap, curved magnets. The, uh, I like the 2305 motor, is a very lightweight motor and had plenty of power, so this one ought to perform pretty well, so I'll have a video on this one coming up soon. Uh, just to let you guys know that if you do buy, uh, happen to buy four of these, you do get a free Meteor frame. Uh, that's the frame that I reviewed about a week ago, so you can check that video out if you want to get a free frame. You can pick up four of these motors and they'll let them run a free, free frame, which is about 40 or $50 value. Okay, we got a uh, selfie drone here from Thi. it's called the Dr. X. You see here, look, it's got brushed motors, it's, uh, it's got Wi-Fi FPV, 1080p camera. I think this looks a lot like the Tello, but I think this one does record video directly on a micro SD card on board instead of uh, via Wi-Fi only. And you get a pretty big manual. You got some prop guards here. And the drone, drone is jammed in there pretty good, so I'm not going to take it out, but this is what it looks like. Uh, it looks a lot like the Tello, obviously, but I think the uh, props are a little bit higher up the way that the uh, drone is shaped and I think this one comes with two batteries instead of just one and I think it's a lot less uh, expensive as well. I think it's like only $60 for this one as well. So pretty good price. We'll have to see how it performs and how good, how good the video is. So stay tuned for that review. Okay, got another selfie drone type of uh, little toy drone here. This one comes with a controller and I think it does have a camera and the way it unfolds is kind of unusual. See the, the motors are in a cross configuration instead of a, in a normal X configuration. So I think a front and back and left and right here. And it looks like the motors here are upside down in the front and back and the ones in the left and right are upright. So very unusual configuration. I think this is because of the way it folds. I think it twists in some way. So let me just take this out and I'll show you. And actually they show you a little picture back here of what it does. Basically just twists to fold it up into this. Uh, the motors basically stack up on top of each other so that you get a very small compact form factor here. Okay, so a quick look at what you get in here. You get your documentation. You get, uh, looks like a manual in different languages. You have English, it looks like, and other languages. I think it's probably all the same. A little phone mount here for your smartphone for the Wi-Fi FPV. Uh, you got your USB charger for the battery, some spare props. And yeah, there's a spare battery there. Here's a look at the controller. Very toy grade plasticky controller with these uh, uh, Xbox type spring joysticks and it looks like it's centering uh, throttle so it's, out, it's got altitude hold. And here's what the drone looks like. Pretty cool that it uh, is a very unique uh, and different. I haven't seen anything like this before where it folds up like this. Let's see, I think it's just trying to twist like so. Yeah, and then it turns into this. So pretty interesting. So yeah, Looking forward to flying this, see how smooth the video is out of here. Uh, obviously, it's probably going to be pretty typical of a lot of uh, these toy selfie drones. Uh, I don't think the camera on here is that particularly spectacular looking, but yeah, it's a little pinhole camera, so it's probably going to be so pretty typical of that, so we'll see how smooth it is in terms of flight in the air. I have a quick video on this coming up soon, so stay tuned for that.